Thank you very much, Count Corla. Um, I suppose this question is pretty direct and straightforward. Uh, Minister, it relates to the historic McGee Barracks uh, at Kildare, originally a site of about 64 acres, where quite recently uh, a magnificent new Educate Together school has been opened. But the remainder of the land is in an appalling uh, state. Uh, it's a monument to dereliction as it currently stands in the site of continuous uh, anti-social behaviour. So we're just trying to establish here what you intend to do about Thank it. You. Yeah. Thank you, Deputy, for raising this issue. And we've, we've discussed this on a number of times before, and I, I, I can understand why you might have an interest in it. Um, <clears throat> on the, um, uh, on July, uh, in July 1998, uh, the government approved a programme uh, of uh, evacuation and sale of six army barracks considered surplus to military uh, requirements. The key barracks was one of the barracks identified for closure. Uh, on the 1st of July 2003, the government decided the former uh, McGee Barracks in Kildare Town will, would be among the state assets released to Kildare County Council uh, for um, um, inclusion in the Sustaining Progress Affordable Housing Initiative. Uh, on foot of this uh, a government uh, decision, Kildare County Council prepared, uh, prepared a local area plan for the site which encompassed a range of uses, uh, including community use. Following discussions uh, between the Department, Kildare County Council and the then Department of Environment, Heritage and Local Government, and in accordance with the terms of the Housing Initiative, it was agreed that the entire site would be transferred to Kildare County Council. A final contract for transfer was issued to Kildare County Council uh, in January 2009. Subsequently, however, uh, the Council advised uh, the Department that it no longer wished to take possession of the property. Officials from my Department recently met with the uh, CEO uh, and uh, uh, official from uh, Kildare County Council. Uh, the discussions uh, uh, entered, uh, are centred uh, on a number of issues, including the Department's future plans for McKee Barracks. It is proposed to dispose uh, of the remaining 50 acres uh, of the barracks by public auction later this year. An auction has been uh, appointed. Uh, an auctioneer has been appointed to manage the disposal on behalf of the department. And the chief state solicitor's office is currently finalising the contracts for sale. The local development plan for Kildare County Council 2012-2018 uh, ha has made provision for substantial community developments on the barracks site. Consequently, any buyer will be obliged to comply with these provisions, whereby ensuring that the uh, local community will benefit directly from the sale. So. We, Thank you. We've spoken about this before, as we said. I said that we would uh, engage Sorry, with Kildare County Council, and we have. Let you back in. Uh, and that's the, um, um, uh, that's the result of that conversation. Well, I suppose the key issue here, here is that when the barracks was uh, initially closed, uh, a very firm written commitment was given at the time by the Department of Defence that 10 acres would be transferred to the benefit of the local community, either by way of the land itself or the value of those 10 acres. Now, it's all very well, Minister, and I welcome the fact that you have had discussions with Kildare County Council. And I have to say that Kildare County Council, in its previous manifestation, uh, if it refused, if the, if the situation is as simple as you portray it, and if they refused to accept the land when it was offered to them in its entirety, then that was a massive dereliction of duty uh, on the part of the local authority. However, for you to say that because the land is subject to zoning, uh, any piece of land, particularly any block of 50 acres of land in the centre of any town, will be subject to zonings and to uh, criteria set out in a county development plan, but that does not constitute uh, a, 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 a replacement for the commitment and the undertaking that was previously given. Minister, no, sorry, let me just be clear. I mean, we have um, we have sold to the Department of Education and Skills um, an eight-acre site, um, uh, uh, which the department made available, and as you say, has been uh, uh, the site for the build of a fantastic new school. Um, we also intended to transfer the entire rest of the site to Kildare County Council uh, because that's what um, we thought the community wanted, that's what the um, uh, Kildare County Council said that they wanted at the time, uh, uh, and there has been a change of mind on that. And so we are anxious that the dereliction that you're talking about at the moment doesn't continue into the future. And the way to do that is to make sure that this site is properly developed. 
Um, it has, it is subject to appropriate zoning through the um, uh, uh, county development plan. So, so there's obviously restrictions and requirements on any developer in terms of how it would be, would be developed in the interests of um, community development, as well as whatever else a, a developer wants to do. Um, and so, you know, we think the responsible thing to do at this stage is to get on and try and make sure that this this site, which is a valuable site. Um, uh, and has great potential both for the local community and for other uses Thank you. that we get on and um, you know and facilitate that progression which I think is is what needs to happen because stagnation ha has been the result to date and uh, you know I think we have a, a, an obligation to move on from that well, I absolutely agree with you that we need to get on with it and we need to see the site developed but what you're effectively saying is that you intend to renege upon the commitment given to the community to you, well, you've just said it minister and afraid the de facto reality is that you want to and intend to renege upon the commitment given to the community that land would be made available uh, directly to the community what might come to the community by way of community benefit from the development of the land is, is incidental and has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with your department. You have no control over it or no role in it. The decision makers in Kildare County Council who decided, unknown to the elected members I have to say, of the County Council who decided they wouldn't accept the land are no longer there. They're no longer there to answer for why it was they refused uh, this land. Can I ask you finally? Sorry, sorry, I, sorry just, like, just a second, just a second, please. What? There's a time limit on can this. I, can I ask That's you finally, clock. is there any uh, short-term intention to use the site for any other purpose? Let me just make it absolutely clear, Deputy. Right? If Kildare County Council wants to acquire this land, they, can, they still have the opportunity to do it. Right? They've made it clear that they don't, so don't start blaming this on previous management. Today, if, if Kildare County Council decided to pick up the phone and say, we want to, to acquire this land, we want to develop it uh, uh, for community use, for social housing and for other purposes, we are open to that conversation, just like we've always been. So let's not try and spin this for political reasons into blaming management that are no longer there and, and, and somehow start pointing the finger at me and others saying we're not being cooperative. We are happy that this land would be transferred to Kildare County Council for what was agreed previously. What we, uh, what we now know, unfortunately, is the current management and the current council don't want to proceed with that, and that's fine. They have instead decided that this will be developed by the private sector, but under restriction of zoning. Uh, and that is, that's how the thing is going to Thank proceed. You. So we are, we, are, we, are happy, we are happy to facilitate that as a Department of Defence. But don't try and, don't try and twist. Don't sorry, try, sorry, no, we're please, not reneging please. on anything. We're not reneging on anything. We, we, we were happy to do a deal with the Department of Education, which we've done, sorry, and, with, and with Kildare County Council, which we offered to do, but they decided Thank not you, to do it. Thank you, you can't expect the Department of, uh, of Defence to do much more than that, Deputy.